Well, good morning and uh, welcome to another 101 poetry prompts. Uh, we're moving right along today. We're up to uh, number 66, The Hidden Basement. Uh, it just so happens that uh, when I was a kid, I, I lived for a while in a very large brick house. Uh, you know, it was built in the 19th century, and it was it was actually made from built from brick, unlike modern houses that are basically frame houses and they put brick on the outside. Uh, this house was built of brick, and it was very large. And we only lived in part of it. The upstairs was closed off, I thought. Um, I was there for a while before I discovered that on the west side there was another apartment and a lady was living there. I lived there sometime, didn't even know it. Uh, and then I discovered that there was a basement in the, in the place. What had happened is just had a trap door uh, to get down into the basement. That's where the water heater and furnace and all that stuff was. Um, but over time, they put a rug over it, and then they put a bed on top of it, and pretty soon it was, uh, you, unless you had to get down there, everybody just forgot about it. Uh, pretty spooky place, and that's what the story is about today. So let's knock off the chit-chat and do our poem. Well, here's our drawing for today. That's a teenage Memphis looking down into the hidden basement. About 1964-65, I think. 66, the hidden basement. In a big brick house on Main Street, in a house a century old, in a house with walls so thick, even in the summer it was cold. The house was there in Vivi, one of many of that kind, made of brick and mortar, but some were painted over time. The second floor was a mystery, as I thought I heard a cough, but it couldn't be from the second floor because the floor was closed off. Turns out there was also an apartment on the western side. The apartment did have two stories but it wasn't very wide. But the biggest mystery was the basement where the furnace and water heater were. It had a hidden entrance, not a place for an amateur. The entrance was in the back, in a corner under a bed and rug, and the lid would hardly move at all when you gave the handle a tug. I'll admit now I did not enter this dark foreboding hole. I should have gotten a trophy for pretending that I was just look that just looking in was my only goal. Okay, that's uh, today's poetry prompt. Uh, tomorrow is 67, which is real estate. Hope to see you then.